Hello. Did I die? Yes, but I got better. Space news. Big news first. JWST is fully deployed. You guys have no idea how stressed I've been about this whole telescope thing. All right, the sun shields have deployed, the secondary mirror deployed, and the primary mirror has folded out. So now all that remains is to finish its journey to L2, where it will conduct its calibration and focusing of each individual mirror segment. And hopefully in about five months, we'll see the first images from the Webb telescope. I'm just so stoked and everyone on the James Webb team, you all are rock stars. NASA has released NAF2 to the launch industry. NAF2 or NASA Autonomous Flight Termination Unit is a control system that can be used at all launch ranges to ensure the safety of the public. And Rocket Lab is one of the first to be working with it. Safety is great, so I'm pretty stoked about this. SpaceX had a successful Starlink mission marking the first orbital flight of 2022. Remember that freaky alien moon rock that one of the Chinese rovers discovered? Kind of looked like a cube. Turns out it was just a moon rock. That's it. <laughs> the SLS has moved its wet dress rehearsal to mid-February. No worries, even with this delay, I'm still hopeful SLS will launch for the first time this year. I'm not gonna lie, China has been killing it with robotic selfies in space and they've done it again. The Tianwen-1 satellite just released a probe that took a selfie of the satellite that's orbiting Mars and it's just awesome. Parker Solar Probe took a dive into the sun's atmosphere and the images that it got of like the streaming plasma going by, I mean, that's just, it's just so cool. Thanks for your patience, everyone, and for not giving up on me.